Hi guys, Wargames Guru here and welcome to this painting tutorial for the PAL-17 utility vehicle of the future. Every good worker deserves a PAL. So this vehicle is sent all around the Imperium with the sole purpose of helping the Imperial forces defeat chaos by moving logistics in a better way. Now, lightly sand the areas that you're going to be gluing together using super glue and you'll find this putting the putting this thing together is no problems at all however there is a full video on how this model goes together should you require it although it is intuitive but it does give you a full part bit by bit put together um, and like i say it's a bit more in depth than this which is really a painting video so once the model's been stuck together, we're going to paint it with abandoned black or any other kind of black that you use. Um, I'm using an old brush here to cover the entire model in this undercoat. I'm using black because I like the dark shades and recesses that it gives me. Paint the whole model black and allow it to dry. Then we move on to lead belcher. So take your lead belcher and cover all the steel areas and silver areas such as pistons etc which will remain steel throughout the vehicle's life. Also go on and do some edging around the model where paint would have been chipped off. The reason we're putting the metalwork on now is because we build up the paint on top of the metalwork rather than paint the metalwork on top of the paint. Um, so this gives it a much more realistic look. Once you've done that, dry brush the whole model uh, in lead belcher lightly um, just to cover all the edges and to make sure the whole thing is covered. So it almost looks like a, a factory finished vehicle before painting. So we're moving on to Avalan Sunset Yellow. I decided to paint this yellow to give it an industrial look. So put on your first base coat of Avalan Sunset, leaving the edges of the model exposed uh, to represent areas where the paint has been chipped and worked away over time. And obviously don't put any Avalan Sunset on the steel parts. Allow that to dry, and then we're gonna give it a good coat of Nuln Oil. Now don't be shy here, completely coat the whole model in Nuln Oil and allow that to dry. This will run into all the recesses um, to give nice deep dark shadows and just stain that yellow down. Once the null oil is dried, we will then coat it again with the Avaland Sunset. This time, we're gonna be a little bit more lighter and leave some of the old paint there. And you can see the lovely staining that the null oil has made. So just lightly cover areas, um, leaving some of the staining and some of the old darker yellow underneath. And try to use a better brush than I'm using here, that's a bit dodgy that brush, um, but at the time it seemed to be okay. Leave interesting patterns and shapes, don't be too neat at this stage until your model looks like this. So that's four stages that we've done. We've actually covered the model in black, a bad and black, we've then uh, painted a basic uh, yellow base of Avalan Sunset, We've then put null oil over the whole model and now we've put the Avalan Sunset back on top to give us a base look of a model and the model is now ready really to start painting. So I'm now going to use some riser rust. Now this is a dry brush rust but I use it this way. I use a little thin brush and I actually dip it and dab it and just paint it very lightly and gently into the corners and the recesses as you see here. Just fill them up a little bit with the riser leaving a lot of the dark and the metal work. Uh, to contrast with it and do that over the whole model. Don't go too mad with it but also make sure you put plenty on as you can see here just in the areas where the paintwork has been chipped away and where rust would have taken hold of the metalwork underneath. And once that riser rust has been placed on Go over all the rusty riser areas using Funigan Orange uh, Wash. And what this does, this tones down the riser rust slightly and blends it into the dark areas and blends it into the yellows to give a nice stained look. It's a great way of doing rust um, and it just helps tone down that riser and stops it being quite so glaring.
Okay, so there's the effect you have so far. Some people would leave it like this, but we're gonna, we're gonna move on and, and do another wash now. We're gonna use Sephram Sepia and put it all over the whole thing. And what this does, it will blend in the riser and the um, Funigan and the yellows, the blacks, the metalwork, and blend them all in to tone them all down and put them on the same kind of level. And this will give you a great base coat for your final highlights in the yellow and the metals to bring them back out and really make this model pop. Cover the whole model. Uh, again, don't be shy. Make sure it's um, completely covered and allow it to dry. Okay, now we're going to add Avalanche Sunset, which was the base colour we've been using with the Uriel Yellow, or Real Yellow, however you pronounce it. Make a 50-50 mix of these two, and basically go over the whole of the model again, leaving some of the Avalanche Sunset showing, uh, so you're, you're building up and you're doing a, a, base, a base layer highlight now. So we want some of that Avalanche Sunset still to be showing, and we're basically going to be covering this, uh, this mix over the rest of the model as you can see here. Once that's done, we apply a coat of Uriel Yellow without the Avalanche, so straight Uriel now, and we work just on the highlights, leaving the previous yellows visible. So as you can see, we've gone from Avalanche, a mix of Avalanche and Riel, and then we've come up to just Riel, so you get this kind of effect. And many people would leave it here, but this really does deserve another layer, and I think we're gonna use Flash Kits. But you can see there that the nice uh, yellows are all coming through, toned up. The rusty areas where the riser and the uh, Fumigan have blended in on the metalwork, and you're starting to get a really nice look to this model. So, flash gits mixed with a bit of Riel, 50-50 like we did with the Avaland, and this allows the blending and the toning to, to really spread across so you don't get too many stark lines in your, in your mixes. Um, so yeah, it's a great way of doing it, or if you're going to change across the yellows, do it in the 50-50s. It's a bit more time consuming, but the blend is far, far better. So I just mix it in a little pin, uh, lid. I tend to, at this stage, add a tiny bit of water to give a little bit of fluidity to the, to the paint, and then um, you'll get a much better finish and a much better coat. And this time, you really want to be just tipping on the highlights and just choosing the areas where the light is catching the model. Uh, you don't want to be painting everywhere with this coat. This is a highlight coat, as you can see here. I'm just touching the areas that need to be brought out. The great thing about this coat is this really makes the model pop and you really see it starting to come out and the whole model really starts to look like a model that's been in the factory, been made out of metal, uh, has then been painted and then has been used and abused by the Imperium all over the galaxies uh, and has been chipped and worn away. Now just use a highlight of Runefang steel on the metalwork in little tiny areas, little dots here and there, little scrapes, little scratches to make that metalwork shine and come away from the model. And this is the final stage now to really make that model come out and look like the metalwork has been you know, used and abused. Well guys, thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will continue to make tutorials if you like and subscribe. Any comments that you've got about the painting or the tutorial itself and any suggestions you have on how to improve them, I'd much appreciate if you leave those in the comments. Um, the aim that I'm trying to do is make uh, painting accessible to mortal people using normal paints and brushes. So I hope I've managed to pull that off. You can see from the results of this vehicle that you know you can get great results from basic uh, painting techniques. So like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you again for some more videos in the future. This is Wargames Guru signing out.